arrived to Haneda Airport Terminal number three stations. This is the international airport. If you are flying domestic, you have to use the Haneda Airport Terminal one and two, which is the next station. It's June 1st, 2022. As you can see, still terminal number three station is really quiet. Haven't been here for a while, so I'm kind of excited to go to the airport. I'm not departing anywhere today though. Anyway, let's explore in the airport. If you have big luggages, you can use the elevator, but uh, here, escalator is more fun. Look at that! Yes, that's a long escalator. Firstly, let's go to check the departure lobby. In the airport, as you can see, still it's really quiet. Technically, Japan is already open for travelers, but uh, it's a testing phase, so not so many people are here. Most of them are traveling for business or for some other purpose. Compared to before, definitely more people in the airport, however, still, really less but definitely better how about in the restaurant floor <laughs> still we are Tokyo photo spot is there yes this is the photo spot we are Tokyo so those are the flights they have today seems like it's really less Oh, seems like this little Edo street. Many places are closed. Technically, Japan hasn't opened yet for tourists. It will open from 10th of June. Firstly, they will open for group tourists. And then after that, it will be the individual tourist. <laughs> Look at those udon. It's an airport price, but uh, looks pretty good. This shrimp cream udon must be really good. Wow, so many people there. This place was like a ghost town. If you see my previous video, you know that. Definitely, the situation is getting better and the Japan is opening gradually. Still not full, but the time is coming. If this is your first time to see the airport, this is something special here. We have a Japanese-style bridge here. Let me show you guys. Let's go up. Oh, Yoshinoya and the Moss Burger is still open. Those Yoshinoya and the Moss Burger are open during the pandemic as well, so I could expect that. And here we go. There is a bridge in the airport. Here, Nihonbashi. Nowadays, older days doesn't matter. Travel always starts from Nihonbashi. Nihonbashi is the bridge located in the center of Japan. In old days, many people start the travel from Nihonbashi. So, you know, that's kind of Japan's culture. That's why here we have Nihonbashi. It's the exactly half size compared to the real Nihonbashi. This place too, it's really quiet. Oh, there's a vending machine. Let me get something to drink. I wanna drink coffee. This is my recent favorite. The price is a little bit expensive compared to others, about 40 to 50 cent, but it's pretty good. In Japan, you can pay it by the credit card or IC card. I will show you guys how to get one soon. So hold on one second. So this time I paid it with the IC card. And here we go. Oh, next to the vending machine, there are souvenirs vending machines too. Also, <laughs> the poor gacha phone. Speaking of the mask, still you have to wear pretty much everywhere in Japan. So if you are planning to travel to Japan, make sure bring them. 
Otherwise, some place you can't enter. Ah, oh, definitely it's better. Compared to regular coffee, this one has 1.3 times caffeine. Well, I know, too much caffeine, not that healthy, but uh, maybe you can try that. Uh, yeah, good amount, good price, much cheaper than Starbucks. And you can buy it at the vending machine, so definitely recommend it. Ah, <laughs> psycho. Oh, by the way, today I'm planning to visit other cities as well. There are timestamps in this video. If you have a specific place to watch, you can skip it too. Anyway, so let's keep walking. Let's go. Let's go to check observation deck. Oh, by the way, those flight simulators are not open yet. Seems like this street is closed too. Oh, I see. So those are the schedule for this month. Japan will open for tourists from June 10th. However, in June, they will open from Friday to Monday. Today is Wednesday, which is June 1st. So that's why it's closed. If you're visiting Japan as a travel tourist, probably you want to visit from Friday till Monday so that you can use the restaurants. For now, unfortunately, Sora Donkey, which is the Don Quixote in the airport, is closed too. I believe they will open soon though. And here we go. This is Haneda Airport's observation deck. Huh. Beautiful. I love watching airplane at the airport. There are always people who are going to the new adventure. Imagining what kind of adventure they have. Yeah, that's one of my hobby. Does it make sense for you? Well, last time when I was at the airport, at Fukuoka airport in raining days, definitely sunny days better. At observation deck, there is an ice cream vending machine too. The price is starting from 150 Japanese yen to 180 Japanese yen, which is about 1.5 US dollars. If you are ice cream lover, here you go. This vending machine too, there is a place that you can pay it by the IC card. Tasmo, Ikoka, Suika, those are the same. Paying by the IC card is really useful. So let me show you guys how to get this. I strongly recommend to get one if you visit Japan. Before leaving here, I decided to eat lunch. It's 2 p.m. but I haven't eaten lunch yet. Let me show you guys the most burger, which is Japan original burger, I believe. <laughs> Just over there. So here we go. Well, let me see what to order. Oh, seems like they have a new burger now. Shrimp tartare sauce or shrimp chili sauce. Oh, this ebi chili shrimp chili sauce looks pretty good. Let me try this. So number 53, the price is 460 Japanese yen for only burgers. Well, compared to McDonald's, it's a bit slower and more pricey, but many people prefer the Mos Burger over the McDonald's. So if you have visited Japan, maybe you can try that Mos Burger too. Hmm, you might like it. All right, seems like it's ready. You know, since airport is empty, so I decided to make it to go. Let's find a seat to eat. All right, we came back to Nihonbashi. This time I only ordered a burger because I still had the coffee. Yeah, you know, saving money for the next trip. Anyway, let's eat. It's my first time to eat the. Look at this. Actually, it's smaller than what I thought, but uh, this is the most burger size. So that's how it is. All right, here we go. So this is how it looks like. Smells pretty good. Itadakimasu. 
めっちゃ美味しい。Well, the chili sauce is not that spicy, but usually Japanese spicy food is not that spicy, so that's how it is in Japan. And also, there is a big shrimp as well. Love it. The flavor of every chili, which is the shrimp chili, that's one of my favorite Chinese dish. How about yours? Please let me know in the comment down below. Oh, speaking of the comment, thank you so much for giving me the comments in the last video. Arigato! And also, suggestion of the sunglasses as well. Since many people recommend me the Ray Ban sunglasses, I decided to get one. June 13th is my birthday, so probably I will get one for my birthday. Still haven't decided which style, but let me see. If you have、uh, any specific style, let me know. Well, I can't get the polarized one because when I wear the polarized sunglasses, I can't see the display. So recommend me which is not something polarized. Thank you. Arigato. Well, compared to the restaurant's burger, it's still not as good as restaurant's one. But thinking of the price and it's a fast food, I think one of the best. Loving it. <laughs> This time, it's Moss Burger, not the McDonald's. Ah. Alright, l never mind. Let's keep walking. Let's go. Now we are heading to Shibuya. There are two lines from here, which is the monorail and the KQ line. If you want to head to Shibuya, use the KQ line, so that way. So, speaking of the KQ line, there are platform number one and number two. If you are going to the domestic flight, you can take number one. But if you are heading to the cities, make sure take number two. And this is the entrance. Also, speaking of the train IC card, you can always buy here. You can always change the language here. If you don't understand Japanese, you can choose English and you can buy it this Pasmo. Pasmo. So basically, Pasmo, Suica, Igo card, those are the same thing. For this card, you have to put the deposit 500 Japanese yen and that's it. You can charge money and you are ready to go. So if you are a temporary traveler, you can just Purchase the blank PASMO. You can select the amount, let's say 1000 Japanese yen, and you have to pay 1000 Japanese yen. One thing you have to be careful is that the charge amount is 500 Japanese yen. Other 500 Japanese yen is a deposit. So you can actually spend money for 500 Japanese yen.、Uh, I recommend to put more money. Yeah, 500 Japanese yen, definitely it's not enough. It is simple, isn't it? One good thing about the train IC card is that you can register in your Apple Watch and you can pay it like this. Really useful, isn't it? Alright, so let's go to Shibuya. If you take Limited Express, which is the Kaisoku, it only takes 11 minutes to go to Shinagawa Station. Well, you don't have to pay extra, so I recommend. This is the one, right on time. As you can see, this train is straightly going from terminal number three to Shinagawa Station. And now we arrive to Shinagawa Station. From here, we will transfer to JR Line. Yamanote loop line. By the way, Shinagawa Station is a big station. So many people. But people are taking distance. Also, everyone wear a mask. And this is not the exit, this is the transfer place to j o l s Again, Shinagawa Station is a big station. There are so many lines. And we will take the Yamanote line, which is the number three, so this way. Yamanote loop line color, it's green. You see? Shibuya, Shinjuku, Ikebukuro. Yes, this is the way. So, Shibuya station is five stations away from here, takes 13 minutes. Yamanote loop line, there are numbers. And this is how long it will take. Let's say Shibuya is 13. 
that means it will take 13 minutes to go to Shibuya. By the way, in Japan, the train will be so packed, so you can be ready for it. Yeah, it will be so packed. Oh, finally arrived to Shibuya. <laughs> it's so packed. Let me give you guys a Japan tip. When you are in the packed train, make sure bring the backpack in front so that you will not bother other people. Yeah, most of them will do it. So if you are in Japan, try to do it. It's much easier. Anyway, so let's explore Shibuya. Let's go. When you arrive to Shibuya, you want to use the Hachiko gate. Then you can directly go to the most popular Shibuya crossing which is over here so what is Hachiko? yes Hachiko is that dog over there in Shibuya that statue called Hachiko Hachiko well, today, not so many people, but this place will be so packed on the weekend. So if you want to meet up with someone, this place is not really a good place to meet up. And in front of Hachiko Statute, there is the busiest intersection, Shibuya Crossing. Even on the weekday, it's crowded. On the weekend, this place is going to be crazy. So. <laughs> you will enjoy Japan. If you want to take a photo of Shibuya Crossing, that Starbucks will be the best place. And here, it's Shibuya Sentagai Basketball Street. This is the main street of Shibuya. I used to live in Shibuya when I used to work in Tokyo. I always come over here when I want to have the energy. Usually there are so many travelers and the young people having party. So definitely, if you want to have an energy, this is the place you want to come. Today, less people. But I believe in the next month, when the traveler came back, this place will be packed every day. <laughs> there is McDonald's as well. So if you want to have a fast food, here. This place called Loft, which is a really popular Japanese chain store. If you want to buy the Japanese stuff, maybe you can try here. Well, Don Quixote is cheaper, but they have more fancy stuff. And in front of Loft, there is an IKEA. This IKEA don't have the restaurant, but still, they have cheap sweets and meatballs. Yeah, this is something new in Shibuya. Probably when you were in Shibuya before the pandemic, you didn't see that. And just keep straight, you will get to the Miyashita Park. Miyashita Park is like a Disney fantasy land. Instead of riding boat with many, you know, Shibuya culture graffitis. And after passing the tunnel, here we go. This is Miyashita Park. Before, this place is so empty, but now, even it's on the weekday and not the dinner time yet, but so many people are eating and enjoying lunch slash dinner. Here, so many different kinds of restaurants. If you have no idea what to eat in Shibuya, maybe you can come over here and you can pick the restaurant whatever you like. Shibuya Yokocho. In this Miyashita Park shopping mall, there is a park. All right, here we go. On top, there is a Starbucks, and also there are so many places to play. So this is one of the most popular park in Shibuya, and this is how much people are as of June 1st. Let's compare how crowded this place will be after the travelers come back in July. Hope this place will be crowded as before. And this is one of my favorite spots to look down Shibuya. Firstly, it's quiet, less people, and you can see the trains and also that back street. There is a really nice observatory over there, Shibuya Sky. You can see beautiful Mount Fuji from there. If you visit Shibuya, definitely you want to visit Shibuya Sky too. 
I have made a video about the Shibuya sky and I could shoot the beautiful Mount Fuji too. If you haven't, please check my old videos. There are so many videos about Japan. So if you are thinking of traveling to Japan in the future, make sure subscribe. Okay, the next, let's go to Shinjuku. Let's go. So for going to Shinjuku, we will use Yamanote loop lane again. It's three stations away, takes eight minutes. Let's go. The platform is number one. So this is the way. And here we go. Here we go. We arrived to Shinjuku Station. Shinjuku Station? Super crowded. More than Shibuya Station. Shinjuku Station is a maze. If it's your first time, definitely you will get lost. So, firstly, just go to the East Gate. So here, this is the East Gate. By the way, price costs 157 Japanese yen to get here. And turn right. Yeah. You see? East Concourse. So this is the way. And just get out from the exit in front of you. You will arrive this square. You see the studio altar. If you see the sign of studio altar, then you are in the right place. Have you seen the big 3D cat display? This is the place. Seems like now it's Tiger Hunt. Oh, that's made by Galaxy. Oh, now, Kata is back. Oh, zero gravity version. So cute. So after you see that the cat display, just keep straight and you will see the hotel in front. After keep straight, you will find the Godzilla Road, which is the entrance of Shinjuku Kabukicho. Can you see the Godzilla? Yep. That's the reason why this place is called Godzilla Street. This Shinjuku Kabukicho has been changing a lot. Oh, now that Top Gun Maverick is on the cinema. I haven't watched all the old Top Gun yet. And I heard new Top Gun is pretty good. Hey, should I watch the old one first? Or can I just directly start watching from the new one? How do you guys think? Well, if you like Top Gun and any suggestion, please let me know in the comment down below. There is a Toho Cinema. If you want to watch the movie, here you go. And here, this square called Toyoko. This place had a really bad atmosphere, but now it gets a little bit better. Maybe it doesn't change it much. By the way, there was a VR park, but now they have a Kabukicho Tower, Tokyo. Yeah, huge tower appears in the several years. There is something good change like that in the new buildings, but the sad changes as well. Uh, let me show you guys this way. In front of Kabukicho, there is a Unica Vision, which is one of the iconic buildings in Shinjuku. And there was Yamada Denki, one of my favorite appliance store. Unfortunately, it's gone. After the Yamada Electric Appliance Store gone, became Otsuka Furniture Store, and then now it became Alpen Tokyo. Also, there is some other news as well. Bikuro will be gone in this month. Bikuro is a really popular collab store, Big Camera and the Uniqlo. It was kind of iconic building for Shinjuku, but uh, it will be gone. However, don't worry about it, it's not the sad news. Well, it's gone because their contract is expired. So probably next time when you come back to Japan, you will not see this big crow, but uh, let's see what we can see in the future. Yeah, let's look forward to it. And now, arrive to south part of Shinjuku, heading to my favorite taking west spot. Hopefully, it's not crowded.
Oh, uh, seems like now all the seats are taken. This place used to be no one here so that I could shoot the video easily. But now it became normal, like before the pandemic. How about in the second floor? Oh, still there are space, but uh, yeah, it's clouded. Oh, seems like in the fifth floor, not so many people. By the way, here too, you can see the trains. So if you want to take a rest, maybe you can come over here so that you don't have to face the crowd. Let's get drink. This peach tea. By the way, here too, you can just place this button, Suica, Pasmo. Those are all the train IC card and tap it. If you have a card, you can just tap the card. If you register Apple Watch, then you can tap the Apple Watch. And here we go. How simple is that? The place was super windy and noisy, so let me find some other place to shoot the ending. All right, here. I think this place is good enough. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear me well, though. Oh, by the way, totally forgot. <laughs> Come back. Ah, psycho. Well, again, Japan will open from 10th of June, but firstly, it will be only for group travelers, though, and hopefully soon, it became for the individual as well. Well, I'm so looking forward to see you guys in Japan. Yes, finally. And also, hopefully, you could virtual travel to Japan and you can compare after the travelers come back to Japan and before the travelers come back to Japan through this video. Oh, I realized that my hair gets pretty long. Should I cut my hair? Oh, let me ask you guys on my Instagram account. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Instagram account as well. And a big thank you to all of the Patreons because of you guys' support, I can keep traveling. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. And also, there are over 350 Japan travel tip videos. So if you are thinking of traveling to Japan, please don't forget to subscribe so that you will not miss my new video and you can check my old videos as well. So see you guys in the next video. See you. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye.